Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you five days of dinners. So the typical kinds of meals that I feed my family of six throughout the week. There are some in here that I haven't tried before that are new recipes for me and a couple that are real family favorites that I make probably once a month, if not more often than that. So I really hope you enjoy seeing the kinds of things that we eat as a family. I'd love to hear what you love to make. What are your go-to family favorites? Let me know in the comments below. So I'm super late having dinner tonight. I'm so hungry. Dan isn't even home from work yet. He's working really late. He's been working late a lot at the moment, trying to fit everything in and finish things off. So yeah, I'm starving. So I've been doing the bedtime, bath time routine solo most days. And we've been eating dinner really late as a result, but tonight is already gone nine. And I'm really hungry because I had my lunch quite early. So, Long story short, I'm going to start cooking. I'm assuming he'll be home soon. Um, so I'm just gonna start it going so that we can eat as soon as he walks in the door. Tonight, thankfully, is a super easy tea. We are having halloumi burgers and I just try and recreate the ones that they do in Bill's because they are amazing. So we have brioche bun with hummus and sometimes avocado, depending on if I've got any, I think I have, then what else do I put in there? Then I do the halloumi in a dry pan just to kind of crisp up on both sides. So I put a couple of slices of that in, sweet chilli sauce on top of that and some rocket on top of that. And I'll probably just have that, maybe a couple of chips on the side, but I'll do some just oven fries for Dan because he'll want those. So I'm gonna turn the oven on and get the halloumi bits and bobs underway. You can tell it's late because I'm already in my pajamas before I've even thought about dinner. But at least the kids are all in bed. Marnie's not asleep, but she's thinking about it. She's talking to her teddy bear at the moment and um, trying to convince him to go to sleep. So hopefully she'll follow soon after. This is everything I need for the halloumi burgers. Halloumi, obviously. I did have an avocado after all, and it feels like it's okay. Although I'm sure that's been in there for ages in the fridge. But fingers crossed it'll be okay. Some rocket, hummus, sweet chilli sauce, and two of these brioche buns. I knew I'd forgotten something. When I was going through the list of ingredients, I was thinking, that doesn't sound right. And it's this. I put in some roasted red peppers from a jar, and I just really thinly sliced them and put them on top of the halloumi before the rocket. So there's those as well. chili, rocket, halloumi, peppers, avocado, hummus, and a few chips. Yum. Marnie and I are heading out in a minute and we've got one of those really busy after school days today where there's just so much going on. So this is the kind of day where I will get out my slow cooker and I don't tend to use it as much this time of year. I used it loads in the colder months but I just haven't been getting it out as much since it's got warmer. But this particular recipe is one that is kind of suitable for warmer weather as well. And I'm going to make my Mexican chicken, which you will probably have heard me talk about loads. It's something I make quite a lot just because everyone likes it and it's quite versatile and you can use it in different ways. I think we'll probably have it as burritos tonight. So we'll then have leftovers, which I can make into enchiladas or just have with rice or a salad or something like that. It would go nicely with jacket potato. It's kind of like a pulled chicken in a Mexican sauce and I put some kidney beans and sweet corn and peppers in there and it's really tasty. So I'm gonna bungle that in the slow cooker now and then leave it cook away on low for the day while I go out and do what I've gotta do. So this is it, all cooking away. I just chopped up three peppers, a red, yellow and orange. There's a tin of sweet corn in there, some chicken thigh fillets, some Mexican fajita spice, a tin of tomatoes, a tin of kidney beans and a good glug of sweet chilli sauce. So I'm just literally going to leave that, do its thing and that'll be dinner ready. So it's the following day and I've just realised I completely forgot to film 
the Mexican chicken that we had last night for dinner. I was so hungry by the time it was ready that I just wolfed it down and I completely forgot to film it. So what I will do is show you what I make with the leftovers. We've got enough for Dan and I to have it again tonight. The kids had it with us last night and I'll just do them something else quick and easy this evening. But Dan and I will be making probably enchiladas with the leftover Mexican chicken. So I just put the Mexican chicken in a tortilla with some grated cheese, roll it up, and then I put some of the leftover sauce that's kind of at the bottom of the container over the top of the enchiladas, sprinkle some more cheese on, and put it back in the oven for maybe 20 minutes on about 180. And then I'll serve that with rice and sour cream and jalapenos and maybe some finely chopped red onion and things like that. So I will show you what that looks like when I make it later on this evening. Apologies for that noise, that's Dan jet washing outside, but I'm gonna crack on with dinner and tonight we're having something I've never tried before and it's a gnocchi dish. I haven't had gnocchi for ages and I love it. So, and the kids do as well, so they're really excited. And we're going to have, it's like a creamy sauce which you make with creme fraiche and parmesan and you put chorizo in it. What else am I putting in? Cherry tomatoes, rocket and, oh, red onion as well and some garlic. And it's just quite easy, simple, just chuck it all in a pan and the gnocchi obviously takes, I think it's two or three minutes to cook. So it's a really quick and easy one. Marion is heading out shortly for a guides event. So I wanted to do something quick and easy that they would all enjoy, so I'm going to get started. And that's it, ready to eat. I've just added some extra rocket to the top, which is just nice for a bit of color. And the rocket I put into the sauce has kind of wilted away. So I just wanted to put some more on. Can't wait to try it, it smells amazing. Excuse the red nose, hay fever's a struggle today. Tonight I'm cooking something I've never made before. I just fancied, I don't know, I just had this idea and then I Googled the ingredients and I found this recipe, which I'm gonna kind of loosely stick to, but tweak slightly. So it's basically a sausage and lentil casserole, which I'm gonna serve with, probably with rice, possibly with orzo pasta. I haven't quite decided yet. I'll see how it turns out. It's just basically sausages, red lentils, onions, carrots. Uh, what else is in there? Stock and chopped tomatoes, and you just simmer it all together in a pan. I'm actually gonna cook my sausages in the oven whilst I'm frying up the onions and the garlic and things just because, I don't know, I just feel like that makes it slightly easier and I'll add them in afterwards. So I will show you how it turns out. So this is the recipe that I'm roughly following. I'll link it below if you want to try it too. I've added in two carrots as an additional thing. And I also, I didn't have any tomato puree, so I haven't done that. And I also added in the roast pepper from the jar that I mentioned earlier. And I think everything else is the same. And I've just tasted it whilst it's bubbling away in the pan and it is really good. Against my better judgment, I'm making spaghetti bolognese today. It's such a hot day and I don't really fancy it, but I need to use up the mince and I don't know, I can't think of anything else that I'd rather have. So I'm just gonna make it anyway. Not the most exciting dinner, but it always goes down really well with the whole family. So I'm going to crack on and make that now. A little tip for Marnie, for any of you who have a pasta hater in your family, what kind of madness is that? Marnie won't eat any form of pasta except orzo. So I do all of ours with spaghetti and then I mix her bolognese sauce in with orzo. If you don't know what orzo is, it's just like, it's a cross between pasta and rice. So it's rice shaped, but it's actually pasta. So that is what I give her hers with and it's really easy for her to scoop and eat as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I've sweated off all my makeup today. So I look 
really bad so apologies for that so i'm thinking you probably don't need me to show you or tell you how to make spaghetti bolognese so i won't bore you with that but what i will show you is what i'm putting in mine and a couple of things that i add to it which i think make it just that little bit more special and a little bit tastier so the main things obviously any standard spag bol, onion, I use a red onion just because I always have those in the cupboard because we eat a lot of them, uh, garlic, carrots, do you put carrots in yours? I do because I put them in my lasagna so I don't know I just always grate a carrot and bang that in but is that normal? I'm not sure. I usually use pancetta in my spaghetti bolognese but I forgot to buy it this week, really annoying me. But this bacon needs to be used up anyway, so I'm just going to cut up a few of the rashers and put that in instead. Then I have my beef mince, and then the things, oh, and my chopped tomatoes. And the extra things I add in, which you may or may not already use in yours, but I find that they just make it really tasty, is some parmesan or grated hard cheese. So I just put in, I don't really measure it out, I just put in a good maybe three tablespoons, two or three tablespoons into the sauce. I also sometimes use these ready roasted red peppers. I've used these quite a lot this week, but I do find they go off quite quick in the jar. So once I've opened one, I like to use them as often as I can. So I've got a little bit left in there. So I thought I'd add some of that in when I'm frying up the onion and the carrots and the garlic. And then the last thing that I always add in to my spaghetti bolognese is a big spoonful of green pesto or red pesto, whichever you've got and I just find the flavor makes a massive difference. And excuse the hat, it's the 4th of July and uh, Aiden's been to a 4th of July party, so yeah, that's what that's about. So the sauce is done, it's just cooking on the hob behind me. I'm gonna go and get Marnie sorted for bed because she's been playing in Marion's room with Marion whilst I did all the chopping and sorting out for that. So now that's cooking, I can go and sort her out and then hopefully eat my dinner. Slight like disaster, I didn't have enough spaghetti for the spaghetti bolognese. How bad is that? So I'm just having regular pasta, which I know doesn't really taste any different, but it really does spoil it. I think, but never mind, I'm sure it'll be delicious anyway. I'm gonna put some Parmesan on top of this and demolish it in about three seconds flat because I'm so, so hungry. So that's it, those are five typical dinners that I feed my family. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you'll be trying any of these, I will try and link to the recipes wherever I can. Some of them are a bit kind of made up in my head, but they're usually taken from an original idea. So I'll leave as much information as I can in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.